The Polycom VVX450. In this video, we will cover the device's functionality and the most commonly used features so that you are up to speed with your new phone. When your phone is first set up, please take a look at the phone and get used to where everything is. On the left is the receiver and on the right you'll find your display and keypad. You'll also see some quick access buttons next to the keypad such as navigation or arrow keys, headset and speakerphone buttons, and your physical mute button, transfer, voicemail and hold buttons. You also have physical volume buttons. If you're not on a call and use these buttons, it will adjust the ring volume and if you're on a call, it will adjust the caller volume. Your display screen will show you most of your information. When the phone is not in use, you will see the time and date, your line key and soft key options and also the feature notifications such as voicemail and do not disturb. The buttons you see on the left and right of your screen are your line keys. These keys can be configured to add additional lines to use along with your extension and also set up shortcuts for a busy lamp field or remote line keys for other extensions and also will allow you to set up login or out buttons for home groups. The buttons below the screen are your soft keys. These buttons will change depending on the phone's activity. When you're not on a call, you'll have access to the forwarding and do not disturb options. To make a call, start dialing your number using the dial pad and then use the receiver, speaker button or headset button to start your call depending on what you're using. When the call is active, you'll see all the call information on the screen and you'll see additional soft key options at the bottom of the screen. While on a call, you can start a separate call by placing the person on hold and then dial the number for your second call and then press the dial soft key. To answer an incoming call, simply lift the receiver, press the speakerphone or headset button depending on what you're using. Again, you'll see all the call information on the screen along with the additional soft key options at the bottom of the screen. To answer a call waiting, simply press the blinking line key. This will automatically place the first call on hold and answer the new call. To go back to the first call, you can press the first line key. You can place the call on hold by pressing the physical hold button or by pressing this hold soft key. The caller will be placed on hold showing the word hold on the screen. To take the person off hold, simply press the resume soft key to do so. Attended transfer allows you to speak to the person you'd like to transfer the call to before actually transferring the call through. To do this, at the bottom of the screen, press the transfer soft key. This will place the caller on hold, then dial the extension or number you'd like to transfer the call to and then wait for the other person to answer the call. Once you've spoken to the person, you can complete the transfer by pressing the transfer soft key and the call will successfully transfer. A blind transfer allows you to immediately transfer the call to your preferred destination. While you're on a call, press the transfer soft key to place the caller on hold. Then, press the blind soft key to change the transfer type. Dial the number extension you'd like to transfer the call to and then press the send button. The call then will be sent to the destination. Conference calls allow you to merge two active calls together which allows a three party call. When you're on a call, press more to access the second page of soft keys and then press the conference soft key. The call will be placed on hold. You then have to dial the new number extension and then once answered, press the conference button again which will merge the two calls together to create the conference call. You can manage the conference call with the additional soft key options. Press the hold soft key to put the conference on hold. Press the split soft key to separate the call and place both parties on separate holds. You can press more and then the park soft key to park the conference on a virtual extension to answer on a different device. Press the call flip soft key to send the call back to your extension and move the conference to another device assigned to you. You can end the conference by pressing the end call soft key. If the call has to hold for a user that is currently not at their desk or is near a different device, you can easily park the call to allow to pick up the call from any device on the account. Press the more soft key to access the second page of soft key options. Press the park soft key and the call will be dropped from your device while being placed on hold and then an automated voice will prompt you informing you of your extension number the caller was parked on. And then all you have to do is dial the park extension number to immediately pick up the call on their device. If you need to move a call to a different device such as Hostess Collaborate on your mobile, you can use the call flip feature to send the call back to your extension. Press the more soft key twice to access the third page of the soft key options and then press the call flip soft key. 
The call is placed on hold and then sent back to your extension as a new call, so you can pick up the call on any device assigned to your user account. The call history stores records of all calls made or received on your device. You can use the arrow keys to quickly access specific call history lists such as received, missed and placed calls and you can press the home button and navigate to directories and select recent calls. You can redial any of the calls by using the arrow keys to select the call and then pressing the dial soft key. You can also add a history call as a contact. Select the call with the arrow keys and then press the info soft key. Press the save soft key and then you can edit the name and contact information and then press the save soft key to store the information in the phone's directory. To access the directory, press the home button, navigate to directories and select contact directory. All your saved contacts will be listed here. And you can call the contact by pressing the dial soft key on their number. You can also press the add soft key to add a new contact anytime. You will see a DND soft key button near the bottom. If you press that, you will see a DND icon appear on the screen and next to your line keys. To turn off Do Not Disturb, press the DND soft key again. You can set call forwarding on your device at any time. Click on the forward soft key to access call forwarding settings. You'll have three forwarding options. All forwarding will forward all the calls to the number you enter. No answer forward would forward the call if you're on a call and if the call hasn't been picked up, it will forward the call depending on how many rings you've set. Busy forward would forward any calls you have rejected to the number you've entered. If the caller leaves a voicemail, you will see a voicemail icon next to your line keys and a display of how many new voicemail messages you have on your screen. The note will stay visible till you listen to your new voicemail messages. To check your voicemail, click on the voicemail button on the phone. Select the extension you would like to check the voicemail for. When the message is open, you can see how many urgent, new and old voicemail messages you have. Press the connect soft key to dial out to your voicemail. When prompted, enter your passcode to your voicemail box to listen to your voicemail. 